So we're going to have time to tell us how y'all doing today. Well, if you are Kourtney Kardashian, baby, you are letting that chopper say, what am I talking about? Courtney is done. She is through. She is tired and she has given up all the tapes. She already says that like, you know, Courtney and Kim Bonnet, because they were both being dumb dumbs at the time. Now that we see in Kanye a mess, we see he's kind of like a, not even a baby Tristan. He's a monster Tristan. But he do, he got that high booty too. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> But all jokes aside, Courtney is now talking about what happened between Scott and her. And she's given more insight into the divide that happened between her, Kim, Chris, Chloe. Basically, um, and I'm going to get into the report, but basically if I can surmise everything, um, Courtney was upset that she was in the most joyous time of her life. And it seemed like they kept trying to use um, Scott, right? as her nemesis, as the thing that would dampen because they thought it would be good TV. And Courtney was like, baby, you guys have gotten how much of my life? No, 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 no. This is for me. I let you tape when Scott was cheating on me. I let you tape when he wasn't happy that I was having rain. I let you tape all the most miserable and happiest and craziest parts of my life baby you're not taping this and apparently this looks like this could be the beginning of the divide when they got mad at courtney because let's be real hit that like subscribe comment button by the way also my podcast has launched there will be a link to it in the bio make sure you guys check it out i'm going long form for anybody at work that just wants to hear me ramble deep dive anyway we'll talk about that later Click on it if you're into podcasts. Anyway, here's the thing, right? Um, uh, like I was saying, so Courtney, where was I? Talking trash, promoting my podcast. Oh yes, talking trash. So <laughs> the two things I do well. So anyway, Courtney, if, let's be honest. If you look at the new season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, I'm on episode three. I recap it. Go check the playlist. And if you want any background on what happened with Courtney, her family, there is a Courtney. Playlist, Chloe playlist, Kim playlist. Okay, fine. Um, she carried the show. She is the show. She has a magnetic quality. She is the funniest, the most likable. Chloe used to be until she started hanging around Kim too much. And now she's trying to turn herself into a Kim Christian or clone. Again, I don't know how Kim and Christian are played in real life, but on reality TV, everything about them is boring. This new season, it needs help. It needs life. And it's weird that without Courtney, they have nobody has storylines. And it just made me realize that all this time I see why Courtney's so upset. You guys have been using her for storylines her whole life and revolving everything else around it. Think about early keeping up with the Kardashians, even thinking keep up to the season when she finally said enough. And when Courtney finally said, enough, I'm not letting you guys use me and my kids. This is not good for my mental health. Everybody was like, yeah, the least interesting to look at. Jumped on her, was nasty to her. Chloe jumped ship because you know she's just down. Chloe is dizzy. This is the same woman that's chasing after Tristan. Make sure you check out my video. Tristan was caught creeping in and out of her house, multiple sleepovers. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And we got pictures for it. Make sure you check out that video. But honestly, the minute Courtney said, no, I'm not going to let you guys use you, me, use your own life, the storyline, we find out Kim either doesn't have one, that's impossible. She just doesn't want to show us her real life, right? Uh, Chloe, she's not even showing us her real life. She's just showing us like, oh, okay, so I'm a victim. Oh, and not even that. Do you notice that now Chloe is the center of that pain, but Kim just ran away from it. When Kim, you have a lot to talk about. You can talk about your divorce. You can talk about Pete. You can talk about your breakup. You can talk about anything. Instead, you're literally acting like you don't know what tortellini is in Italy. Anyway, let's get into these reports because baby, Courtney left no crumbs. Let's get into it. Courtney Kardashian on Scott's future with the Kardashians. Courtney is not here for her ex Scott Disick, right? Though the Cole parents' past romance and post fit life has been documented for years on the family show, right? It rubbed Courtney the wrong way when Scott's commentary was so heavily featured when discussing her romance with her now husband, Travis Barker. During a new interview with the Not Skinny Not Fat podcast, 
Courtney shares that she had no idea if her ex will be included in season two of the show, insisting, I literally don't know. Courtney is my girl. She also opens up about taking issue of how Scott was featured on season one on Hulu's new series. She said, I was upset they chose to take my fairy tale and include that part of it. And then it just bothered me like these people at what whatever are like making the choice of what my story is. She says that as one of the show's executive producers, she gave notes on Scott's scenes, but they weren't addressed. And she says that she didn't take offense to Scott's inclusion at first, but think that's because she because she was used to uh, him. Oh, because she was used to him always being part of the story. Now pause. Here's the thing, all the Kardashians have executive producer titles. However, how do I say this? If you know anything about production, you know that you might be a producer or even executive producers. Some executive producers have what they call vanity titles. You get that title, you get paid with it, but you don't have any power, right? Chloe obviously has a vanity EP title. That's what they call it, an EP credit. However, you know who doesn't? Chris Jenner and Kim. You know what ha- who would have to get the sign off for Scott to ruin her fairy tale? Chris Jenner, right? This is what it seems like from reports. And also Kimberly. Yeah. Now when you keep that in mind as who has power for these decisions and who's in the room. Now I'm not saying they have ultimate power, but they're definitely in the room when it comes to storyline, plot line, and all that other stuff. Now keep that in mind. Now again, a lot of people did say, well, why is Courtney so mad? You didn't care about Scott being involved before. Again, let's get into how she addressed it. She said, she said she was always used to him being around. Again, Scott's family. Let's also not forget. Courtney used to have Scott around a lot because Courtney loved Scott. She wanted a family with Scott and she tried to make it work. It wasn't until she actually found someone that loved her the way she deserved to be loved and the way she didn't know she could be loved, that she broke that tie with Scott, okay? Now, as we know, Scott did not take it that well, but again, you finally found a love you've been searching for for your lifetime. I don't care what the relationship looks like to other people, Courtney has been searching for this type of love, this family, this, this this type of person and energy in her life for a lifetime. She tried her best to try to bring it out of Scott because she saw flares, but Scott didn't have it at the end of the day. So you finally have your dream. And then you have people that are supposed to be there for you, not paying attention and actually using Scott and his volatility as a storyline. If you guys don't know, I actually did a video about this a while back and everybody said I was crazy, but I knew I wasn't. What was that video about? The fact that they kept having Scott film with Courtney and Travis because I firmly believe that they were hoping that Scott would lose it, go off the hinges and do something that would be great reality TV. Anyway, Courtney says, I didn't initially have a problem with it when I first watched it. Should I talk in Courtney voice? Because I think we're so used to the way that we've done things for so long and it's been, you know, the kind of stuff that would have been included. I think it just bothered me because I felt like this is my fairy tale. And I was like, why can't we show the happy ending? Why do we have to focus on this? I get it, it's TV, blah, blah, blah. But to me, I was not having it. I was like, you wouldn't do this to anyone else. Now, since the first season aired, Courtney says that she definitely made it clear that it's not for me. She said her and Travis start to their lives as newlyweds together and she plans to keep focus on the love of the story. She said, I'm not gonna be a part of this. I feel like I'm here living my life and I'm not sitting here talking about anybody else. I just demand the same respect, you guys. How powerful is this? And what a confirmation to everything that people with eyes had. And I understand how we saw Courtney being treated like crap by her family. We saw Kim curse her out. We saw the fat fight when Chloe held her and let Kim get like a punch in. We saw the family treating her like crap. We saw the way they tried to throw shade at Travis. We saw the way it was released 
in the papers, oh, you know, Travis used to have a big crush on Kim. We saw all that stuff. We saw the way the family was kind of pushing her out. We saw a group of events and you people are like, oh my God, you're just making something out of nothing. They're fine, they're cool. And I'm like, are you guys so desperate to believe, not you guys, you guys know I'm talking to people over there, not y'all, y'all knew, right? But I'm like, are people so desperate to believe a happy ending that they refuse to open their eyes and just take it in. Life is neither good nor bad. It's just a set of experiences. You do not do anything by just opening your eyes and saying, yeah, that happened. And maybe just diving deeper in. So now we finally have Courtney saying what many of us have known. Again, let me read this, right? Why do we, ha I was like, why can't we show my happy ending? Why do we have to focus on this? I get it, it's TV, blah, blah, blah. But to me, I was not having it. I was like, you wouldn't do this to anybody else. Who would she be talking to? The producers, because they all treat them the same. The producers, I assume, no, can don't have any damn storyline at all, right? So who could she be talking to? Well, methinks she's talking to her mom the manager of all of them. The one that moves the pieces around, decides who gets to deals, the same person that couldn't be bothered to attend her fashion show, right? This big collaboration. The same people that barely showed up to Lemmy, but I think that's because the public was like, how come we never see you around Courtney? <coughs> Excuse me. Listen, and she said, she made it clear, it's not for me, right? And she said, again, and she's keeping to her word, I'm not going to be part of this. I feel like I'm here living my life and I'm not sitting here talking about anybody else. I just demand the same respect. Again, Kim wasn't expected to talk about Pete. They got Chloe's dizzy self to go talk about Tristan, right? So funny, there's a cool kids table, it seems like with the Kardashians and you're either in or you're out. Anyway, my little title tells, let me know what you think about Courtney's card confirmation. And I will say, Avita scene. Shout out to everybody that got my project runway reference. All right, my little title tells, don't forget to check out the podcast. And I will talk to you later. Bye.